starting again, Eric. <laughs> All right, folks, we're back. Uh, I just I just showed uh, Eric. Woo! Oh, oh. So I was talking about the, the convention I went to uh, recently. Uh, and on my way to the con... Oh, 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 why? <laughs> oh, my God. Why? Uh, I decided to yeet my phone. <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, and I've... I've, I've I've yoked my phone before, <laughs> uh, so I'm like, oh, it's always been fine. It's probably the same. No, not this time. Not this <laughs> time it wasn't. I was showing Eric uh, before before we started. I was, I was like, oh, you see that thing in the corner? He's like, oh yeah, yeah. Is that is that all? He's like, oh no 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 no. Uh, you see, it will slowly get brighter <laughs> till it totally envelops the screen. Like a nuclear and you blast. Can't see shit. <laughs> like a nuclear blast. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You, you just speed ran through through all those six lives. Yeah, I did. Oh, ha. <laughs> Dr. Eggman is a no good son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have that stuck in my head for the rest of the day now. My squeaky gaming chair. <laughs> <laughs> my gaming chair keeps on squeaking. It's even worse than an office chair. Yes, I hear it. Stop squeaking it. <laughs> what, my squeaky gaming chair? <laughs> Could you fix it? Fix what? My squeaky gaming chair? <laughs> you destroyed half my fleet. What do you want from me? Just someone looking for someone to fix my chair. So you did all of this for your gaming chair. You mean this? My gaming chair? Yes, your gaming my chair. My squeaky gaming chair? <laughs> the one that squeaks? <laughs> Enough with the squeaks! I'll fix it. Really? Yes. And the squeaks precisely. <laughs> Gotta give you a little warning, though. Kinda has a bit of an annoying squeak. <laughs> That's just electric chair for you. Ah! <laughs> There's actually a sequel. Oh, really? I found a sequel. It's really funny. It's like um, it just I, I don't even remember the rest. I just remember it opens with like uh, like so, it's the same opening. Just, like Sonic busts into Eggman's thing, and he's like, Sh I have a shopping cart now. No! And then he just like <laughs> vacuums it out into space. <laughs> it's like wow! I didn't think he'd react that way. Kind of the same way I reacted when I, found, when I first sat on my squeaky gaming chair. Right off with the squeaky! <laughs> That's it. Follow me, chuckle nuts. Oop, look at this way. Okay, maybe don't follow me. <laughs> on second thought. Ooh, I flooded the planet. <laughs> Ooh, death! <laughs> what kind? Instant! <laughs> We still on the dreadnought one? Yeah. Yeah, because the the dreadnoughts dread nothing at all. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, I dread the dreadnoughts. Well, that's how that yeah. <laughs> That'd be the point. <laughs> yeah, with reading the print, the dreadnoughts didn't actually see all that much action. Fucking fuck, mm -hmm. man. No, they're not, sadly. Oh, man. I know, that's what I was That's hoping. why there's so little of them. <laughs> the entire population is, you know... <laughs> sold for scrap in the 1950s. <laughs> Just very sad. At least there's still one around. Hmm. Is it like in a museum or something? Yeah, it's in Texas. Hmm. It's, the US, it's the USS Texas, actually. I would say everything's bigger there. Right. Well, yeah, I think I mentioned like the the original HMS Dreadnought was actually like made obsolete within like a few years of its creation. Oh, really? Yeah, which is ironic because it made like every other battleship obsolete, obsolete. just by its existence. Ho ho! <laughs> no! You'll never guess what I've done today. <laughs> I flooded the entire planet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, off it's 70% it's water. No, now it's 100%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ever think about that? About what? The fact that our planet is 70% water. There is, a, you, know, you know what terrifies me? That, that we know more about our solar system than we do about our oceans. That, and also the fact that, like, there's a spot in the Pacific Ocean, right in the middle of it, where... The closest humans to you aren't actually on Earth. Huh. Yeah, like there's a point in the middle of the Pacific Ocean where the closest humans are straight up on the International Space Station. Huh. Yeah. 
there is actually an angle where there's like almost no, you can almost see like no land on Earth. It's just the Pacific Ocean. It's just so fucking big. It's terrifying. It really is. Oh hey look. Oh hey look. Are, are humans even even able to go there? They can, on boats. If you get stuck out there, you're kind of SOL. Mm. That's the thing, though. That shit is fucking terrifying. Kinda is, yeah. Like that. Well, just like, uh, what's it called? Markiplier. Markiplier? <laughs> Markiplier's. Uh, he, he's even said, like, he'd go to space in a. Th well, it, it's that whole song, you know. Right. There was a million volunteers. There, there, there was a volunteer program to go to space with a hundred percent chance of dying from, from death by space. space. I would I'd go there so fast. I'd be first in line. Uh, but uh, but yeah, he, he said he'd go to space, but he's he's like terrified of the ocean, which is funny because uh, now he's making the Iron Lung movie. Right. Which fun fact? After the whole like Titanic. Submarine thing. Oh, the submersible. Yeah, sales of sales for Iron Lung tripled. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Which the developer came out with like, I have no, I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> no, stop. I feel bad for Mark because I guess the one teaser they put out for it had him like uh, covered in like no, fake blood. No, 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 no. Because yeah. Because some of it like dripped into his eye, he got an eye infection. Oh no. <laughs> It's like, well, imagine you put, you, you get that for, like, you get, like, a, pro probably, like, weeks of, of uncomfortableness for a 30-second teaser. Right. <laughs> weeks of discomfort, you mean? Yeah. What'd I say? Uncomfortableness. Tomato, potato, potato, tomato. You ever think about the fact that they say, everyone said, like, pota like potato, potato, but, like, I never heard anyone call potato a potato. You see, now that you say that, I'm gonna call it that. Go for it. <laughs> I've already ruined one person's speech with. <laughs> oh, what, irregardless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well add to the count. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, wait, the tank. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that was gonna blow up. <laughs> And then act like it don't know nobody. <laughs> like I don't know. My main goal is to blow up. Boom! I, I told you that like Cold Ones got a cameo from him. Yeah. And they and they told him to like say the line uh -huh. and he didn't know what they were talking about. That was just Tuesday for him. <laughs> yeah, like a, they're like, that's your thing. Like how what do you not know that? It's like what you're known for. Because they had they they were gonna have him say, I I'm gonna blow up. Or no, I'm gonna eat an assorted bag of nuts and then act like I don't know nobody. That's funny. And then like, he like completely like botched it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, it's like you have one job, man. <laughs> oh my. Uh. He's lost his touch. It's like Phil Tippett not supervising the dinosaur. Oh no. <laughs> Phil up. I got. I touched. You were claimed by the heavens. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I already hate it. Boink. He still don't know it's the boinker. Boink. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna boink you. He's gonna boink you. Boink and die. Oh, boiny. Boiny! Oh, okay. I didn't do that. Send that to what? Ah! Oof! Whoa. Well, okay. Watch out, Joey <laughs> might get claimed by the heavens. <laughs> he might get raptured. <laughs> You're like getting sent to hell. This, this is the uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> heavens for or hell. Wait, heavens for so, yeah. hell is forever. No wet. Wait. Okay, you knew. You know what I was talking about. <laughs> Cause hell is forever whether you like it or not Had the chance to behave better Now, now they boil in the pot, pot. <laughs> Yeah the rules are black and white Here's no use in trying to fight it We're gonna come and fuck you all up over again <laughs> What was the Her dad's thing We're gonna <laughs> You messed you. with my daughter And now I'm going to fuck you 
<laughs> well, this just got interesting. <laughs> it's fuck you up, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, what did I say? <laughs> yeah, I forgot who I who I talked to recently that he <laughs> has been who had or hadn't. Oh, Lorna. She was she was she was mixed on it. Yeah. Yeah. Which I don't blame her. Yeah, it's, it's fair. It's, I I can I can definitely like there are times in it where I'm like the comedy for me. Mm -hmm. I couldn't help but notice they have a sex room. See, that's like I I, I love was, I was wondering if you would do a sex with me. Why? What? Well, because well, I'm, I'm having, having sex with everybody. Oh no no no. <laughs> Oh. Oh, 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 Eric, why have you done this to me? Oh, I don't know how I'm, I'm winning already. <laughs> oh! Goes full Preminger. <laughs> He's like, you're in my head. Oh, now I gotta deal with your brother. <laughs> Oh, why'd you do that? That's not cool. Hey, oh, there we oh, go. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. Man, it's a lot easier when someone does, like, the force <laughs> of the course for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fancy that. Here, how can you even get that? <laughs> you, 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 I don't, can you guys feel Eric's death stare through the, through the screen? Out the window with you. <laughs> You window now. <laughs> <sighs> the dreadnought may dread nothing, but you're, you're gonna dread my wrath. <laughs> you gonna send me to the heavens, Eric? I'm gonna, I'm gonna shove Star Scream up your ass. Oh no! <laughs> Not if Megatron has anything to say about it. I don't think Megatron would care. <laughs> I, I, I love you, you summed it up perfectly Starscream is is you know I is literally I'm in charge when 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 you know mom is at home <laughs> yeah right <laughs> well it was funny because there was like I saw, I, was, I saw this meme where it's like um like Starscream and like one Transformers thing where it's like I only took over because I only like usurped Megatron after he left me to die and I caught him and like admitting to it mm -hmm. versus like in like OG Transformer 3 is like, Megatron has stubbed his toe! Now I am the leader of the Decepticons! <laughs> and I will say, I am really liking Starscream in Transformers Prime. Yeah? They did a really good job making him, like... I feel like he's appropriately intimidating, but you can also tell that, like... Like, he's not, like... He's, he's not the main threat, but he's still threatening. <laughs> Like, most of the time, he's willing to turn tail and run, but there was one time when, like, to be fair, he did get a, um, he did get a cheap shot on RC, but he was kind of kicking her ass. Hmm. So you're gonna see, uh, Transformers 1 when it comes out? I am very interested. Just cause, like, it's kind of cool seeing, like, a Transformers movie that's just about the Transformers and with no human shenanigans. Well, also, like, even though, like, I grew up with the Michael Bay films and everything, I am kind of glad they're going back to that, like, classic Transformers look a little bit. I agree, too. I I personally like Optimus's look in Rise of the Beasts more than I do, like, a lot of his other appearances. I, well, I, I, I like Optimus in the, in the Michael Bay movies. It, mainly, like, some of them got too busy. I agree. Well, seems like Bumblebee has kind of been like retcon to like just look like that now. A little bit. I'm not sure which came first, Transformers Prime or the um or the Bayverse, but I do. F okay, so I want to know what came first because the chicken or the egg. Well, my question. <laughs> the rocket power fist. <laughs> my question of the hour is like with with Bumblebee not being able to talk. I watched. The 1980s Transformers movie. Yeah, the one where... Optimus dies. Yeah. And, like... Uh, uh, uh... Okay. No! Which is, I definitely feel like... 
I mean, I've never seen the the animated one and everything, but like when they did the whole Optimus dies things in the live action thing, uh huh. I felt like it, it definitely probably had like a much less of an impact for people because they're like, well, of we've been here before. Yeah, they're gonna bring them back. <laughs> Well, that's probably the thing with the with the OG one, was because Although I, it was I, the last, it was effectively the end of the series. Mm -hmm. Although I guess they're, I mean, for new fans and everything, like myself at that time, like, I didn't know that. You, know? you didn't know Optimus always comes back? I mean, I kind of had, like, the cynic, less so because I had seen the movie, more so I'm just a, a, a like, a cynic asshole. Right. You know? It's something that could be like a, could be a, like, a, like a YouTuber, the cynic Pi asshole. I know there's Pyrocynical. Right. But yeah, like I just kind of assume like when it, you know what it is? It's Marvel movies. Marvel movies have ruined me for that because like, I don't feel like death carries any weight anymore. Right. Because like, they're not gonna kill them off. Seriously. They're the like one of the main characters. <laughs> We're out of time, folks. We'll see you guys next time. Next time.